Lines for gas stretched for miles in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. Now, four years later, with hurricane season here, people want to know, are we ready? New York State is now dedicating millions of dollars to provide generators to gas stations. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports drivers hope that means no more long waits if we again lose electric power. It was a lot of frustration. Armando Gonzalez filled up next to the Meadowbrook, recalling the panic here wrought by Superstorm Sandy. Unseen and unheard of before. Anger, even fist fights. Police trying to calm tensions as strangers battled over the last drops of gasoline. My wife and I ended up having to sleep outside of a gas station to get gas one day. Some hoarded, others scalped. Lines stretched for miles. 24 hours for gas? Yeah, we were waiting like over 24 hours for gas. Gas station owners like Gene Spellman, vulnerable. As for what happened in Sandy, I had plenty of product but no electricity. After three days, I had electricity. We pumped out. Couldn't get any more product. Why? They shut the harbor down. Now, Governor Cuomo wants to ensure that along the hurricane evacuation route, strategically located gas stations with at least four pumps are operational and able to provide gas to first responders. The state awarding a $12 million grant to help pay for backup generators and transfer switches. Andy Harris is chairman of Long Island Gasoline Retailers Association. I'll ensure it, maintain it, take care of it. Uh, and, and you hope you don't have to use it. Yeah, exactly. I hope I don't have to use it. Some question the need when such a storm can be a once in a lifetime occurrence. Still, many consumers welcome the backup. With so much havoc all around, we don't want another panic. So if you want to get out, we just want to get out. Some experts say even with backup generators, hurricanes still pose a risk to our waterside oil terminals, which remain vulnerable to storm surges. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.